Lightvert is an outdoor augmented reality technology company. We produce a new type of display technology that allows us to create the world's largest digital outdoor images. So it's a giant impression device. It makes a large scale, up to 30 meters tall, digital impression of an image in the viewer's eye. And that image doesn't actually exist in reality. What we really needed from this project was to see creative minds apply their capability and talent to the medium and to show us that there's a lot more to be had. The excitement that we felt when we first spoke with the team at Lightvert was that this would be a great partnership. And I think Central St. Martins, more than any other place that I know of, has this sense of energy and inquiry that is part of the lifeblood of the course, the students, the staff. In this project, we had to show the students. You have to see this technology in order to really understand what you're grappling with. We then fielded a whole range of incredibly intelligent questions from the students about what things they would like to explore. My concept is called English Double Happiness, and I just want to use it to playfully combine the English and Chinese into one shape. It's, I think it's more something artistic, and I want to see like how commercial things can combine with it. My concept is called the Live Up Prime. For this, I developed my own brand of hot sauce. And the idea is basically that you are more likely to engage with something if you're geared up to it first. Using postcodes and symbols on Nightbirds to promote and make people excited about the events. I think it's one of the coolest projects I've worked on. Like, i never seen a technology like this. So our idea is called Eco Echo, Disappearing Trees, and essentially we wanted people to consider the impact of urbanization, um, on our environment. My concept was called Creating Icons and it basically involved looking at how this new technology requires kind of push for branding and images to be iconized. That's why you need to combine that iconic image and the context to really communicate your message. Clearly there's opportunity in terms of marketing and advertising but some of this other kind of more organic, more poetic content feels to me like it's really new and really doing something different. The final display night was brilliant and uh, it was a great culmination to a lot of hard work by the students. The thing that struck me most was how there is something magical about a fleeting image. People stopped and they watched the echo display just brought them back to the childhood because they are really becoming curious again. And I just love observing them. It's just quite playful and fun. It's always the thing that motivates us most to keep going every day and keep pushing this project forward. When people see it, their jaws drop. To see my work up there, I think it's very, very exciting. So it was really, it was really nice to see a bit of my work blown up. It's really interesting when it's Different. It's kind of interesting to see where this will now go and that's why I really like working on this project. It was amazing to see these images that the students have created with some St. Martins in the background and some pancreas on the horizon really gave us goosebumps. students here really helps show us that the depth of creative potential of the medium is far more than what we've ever imagined or what indeed the rest of the commercial industry may imagine. 